Uh, hey there, buttercups. Today, let's talk about ships and how we measure their speed. Cars use miles per hour, and planes use kilometers per hour. But ships, they use something called knots. Ever wondered why? Let's dive in and find out. It might seem a bit puzzling at first, but like everything else in the world of baking, there's a recipe, and understanding the ingredients is key. In this case, the ingredients are nautical miles, latitudes and longitudes, and the fascinating history of sailing. So, what exactly is a knot? Well, it is a unit of speed. Imagine a ship traveling one nautical mile in one hour. That ship would be moving at one knot. Simple, right? But what is a nautical mile, you ask? Well, just to get ahead of ourselves, a nautical mile equals 1,852 meters, or 1.15 miles. So let's explore more about the nautical mile next. Now, a nautical mile is not the same as a regular mile, also known as a statute mile, which we use on land. While a statute mile is a familiar measure for most of us, especially when driving or walking, a nautical mile is a bit different and is primarily used in aviation and maritime contexts. A nautical mile is a bit longer. But how much longer, you might ask? Well, let's dive into the details. It is based on the Earth's circumference. Imagine slicing the Earth in half at the equator. This imaginary line, the equator, is crucial in understanding the concept of a nautical mile. Now, as we go towards the North Pole, let's slice the Earth at each one degree latitude. When we reach the North Pole, we are at 90 degrees latitude. Again, each slice represents one degree of latitude. Latitude lines run parallel to the equator and are used to measure distances north or south of this central line. Now, divide one of those slices into 60 even smaller slices. These smaller slices are known as minutes of latitude. Each tiny slice represents one nautical mile. This means that one minute of latitude is equivalent to one nautical mile, which is about 6,076 feet. This is slightly longer than a statute mile, which is 5,280 feet, which is the standard mile used on land. Understanding this difference is crucial for navigation, whether you're sailing across the ocean or flying through the skies. From chip logs to knots, a history of maritime speed measurement. Sailors have been using knots to measure speed for ages, long before engines and GPS. This method dates back to the early days of seafaring when understanding a ship's speed was crucial for navigation and safety. But how did they do it without modern technology? The answer lies in a simple yet ingenious device that revolutionized maritime navigation. Well, they used a clever tool called a chip log. This device was essential for sailors to determine their speed and ensure they were on the right course. Imagine a wooden board, called a chip, attached to a long rope. This simple piece of equipment was the cornerstone of maritime speed measurement for centuries. This rope had knots tied at regular intervals. Each knot represented a specific distance, allowing sailors to measure speed accurately. The sailors would toss the chip overboard and let the rope run out as the ship moved. This process required skill and precision to ensure accurate readings. They would use a sand glass to measure a specific amount of time. The sand glass was an essential tool, providing a consistent time frame for the measurement. Once the sand ran out, they'd stop the rope and count how many knots had passed through their hands. This counting process was critical for determining the ship's speed. The number of knots equaled the ship's speed in nautical miles per hour. This method, though simple, was remarkably effective and remained in use for hundreds of years, showcasing the ingenuity of early sailors. For those who are overly curious, if a 28-second sand glass, aka hourglass, is used to measure the ship's speed, then knots are tied to the rope every 47 and a quarter feet. So let's put all this together. Since a ship's position is often tracked by its latitude and longitude, as well as sailing maps are often marked with latitude and longitude lines, it is easier to use measurements of distance and velocity that reflects this. As an example, if the ship's destination, say Plymouth, Massachusetts, is 60 minutes latitude away, which is equal to one full degree latitude, and the ship, say the Mayflower, is traveling at two knots, then it will reach its destination in 30 hours. If the ship were traveling at 10 knots, then in this example, it will reach its destination in six hours. Why knots still matter today? You might be wondering, why do we still use knots today? 
In a world dominated by miles per hour and kilometers per hour, it seems almost archaic to rely on knots. But there's a good reason for it. Why not just stick to miles per hour or kilometers per hour? These units are great for land travel, but when it comes to the vast open sea, knots have a unique advantage. Well, knots are still super useful for navigation, especially at sea. They provide a standardized measure that is crucial for maritime travel. You see, one knot equals one nautical mile per hour. This simple conversion makes it incredibly easy for sailors to understand and use. This makes it really easy for sailors to calculate distances and estimate their arrival times. Imagine trying to do that with miles or kilometers. It would be much more complicated. Plus, using knots keeps things consistent. Consistency is key when you're navigating through unpredictable waters. Since nautical miles are based on the Earth's latitude, it helps sailors navigate accurately, even without fancy GPS devices. This age-old system has stood the test of time and continues to be invaluable for mariners around the world. Conclusion, knots, a timeless measure on the open seas. So there you have it, buttercups. Knots might seem a bit quirky, but they have a fascinating history and play a vital role in maritime navigation. Just like a perfectly measured recipe ensures a delicious cake, using knots helps sailors navigate the vast oceans safely and efficiently. Next time you see a ship sailing by, remember the humble knot. It is a testament to the ingenuity of sailors past and a timeless measure on the open seas. Thank you for watching. Hope you found this video informative and entertaining. Please subscribe, like, share, and comment. We do like to know and hear your feedback. And if you have the means, please consider supporting us on Patreon, where you can get early access to our videos and where we post bonus material. Till next time, this is Geeky Tidbits saying cheers and have a good day.